I have written down here five locations that I'm going to this week. The water is brown. <gasps> Holy cow, there's like three or Dude, there's several smallies down there. This water looks so good. Well, I have to admit, I'm a little bit nervous starting off this video because this is something that I've been wanting to do, kind of been in the works for two years. I have written down here a piece of paper with uh, five locations that I'm going to this week. The goal is to kayak across Tennessee, starting up in Northeast Tennessee. We're gonna end uh, kind of in the middle Tennessee, but on the west side. It's not all the way to Memphis, but as far as I could get with uh, places that I could find. The goal is to kayak a different river, and I got five rivers written down. It's also really hot, and it's um, August, but I wanted to wait till school started back. So most schools are back in. I don't think there'll be too many people out on the water. And also, um, I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to do it for endurance. This is gonna be tiring. This is the biggest adventure and the biggest like uh video series that i've ever tried to do tomorrow morning we're gonna start on the first one hopefully this is at the beginning i don't know how this turns out um i might look back at this and be like wow that was too much i might look back and be like i'm never gonna do this again i'm hoping the goal is to look back and want to do something like this every year or lead into other things so i'm excited about this series here's part one I'll tell you more about it tomorrow morning when we get to the river. It's the morning, time to get this thing started. I'm uh, extra nervous. <laughs> I'm going down a river I've never been down before, I'm going seven miles. This is the Nolichucky River, pretty famous river for some big smallmouth, but also known for rapids and like some whitewater stuff, which they do a lot of rafting. But the guy said, I should be good to go. I'm a little worried about, you know, some of these rapids I come across. The water is up just a little bit, they've had some rain, it got a little. Uh, tint to the water but it's pretty clear it may look muddy but it's i can see most of it i can see um you know several feet into it but uh it's moving pretty fast so we're gonna try to fish main goal is survive don't flip try to catch fish that's third so um, we got quite a bit of quite a bit of fast moving water to roll through i think we can just be able to paddle through a lot of it and i got everything strapped down i'm ready to go pretty secured let's get to it Just the start. 
I'm actually keeping my GoPros in uh, waterproof mode because I don't know what's going to happen today. Let's get through a couple of these rapids. Try to find some, we got some little calmer water too. Well, this is disappointing. Just what I didn't want to happen. I guess it's a good thing it happened right away. I've already, I flipped my kayak. I haven't even got through the second little rapid. There, uh, I was going through it fine, but I was taking on so much water. The, my kayak was full of water and I couldn't, I wasn't floating over it. I had too much water, one little turn and it, was, it went over. I grabbed, I grabbed these rods with my hand and somehow I had my paddle in my hand. I had my paddle, two rods, I grabbed them. I swam, pulled the kayak to the bank to stand up because I was about to go down this over here. Uh, this is aggravating. My GoPro was attached for a while, but when I flipped the kayak over, it came off and I don't know where it's at. So I lost that GoPro, I lost one rod and my waterproof case wasn't waterproof. I'm gonna have to get a better case than that for all my electronics. I grabbed my main bag, so, oh, somehow I didn't zip it all the way up. I grabbed uh, this. I lost one of these, a rod, and my GoPro. <laughs> I just got this whole thing planned out. I had the uh, guy bring me up here, drop my truck off downstream. I'm about to walk back up there and be like, hey, take me back to my truck. <laughs> I hate to do that too. I feel so uh, like a loser, but I'm not gonna keep going. I got seven more miles of this, plus there's bigger rapids coming up and I can't avoid them. There's too much current, you gotta go with it. Yes, I found the GoPro. And I found it. Oh, look, look, look. Oh my. Yeah. Oh, the devastation. Feels so good just to find this stuff. There's more stuff in there. What's that? Hmm, hooks. Did you know I lost that? I got a rod in there somewhere. I wonder if I can find it.
pouring down. I looked at the forecast. It said excessive heat warning. It hasn't got out of the 70s. I have to catch a fish out of here before I move on. I want to leave and like go towards my next place, but I got to go down there at least cast for a while. Oh, it's dark over there. I hope that storm ain't coming this way. I'm out here in the middle. I don't know how I'm going to get out. Whoa! Yes! Hold on. Hold on. Oh, come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. Touched it. We got a fish. We got a fish. Oh, my goodness. Feels so good, dig. Master this fishery here. A little smally right off the bank. And storm just went through. Now it's getting dark again. Like another storm's coming through. Let's think about the mountains up here. A little different. Man, I feel like I could catch fish today if I could just get to the spots. The water is actually clearing up as it's. I still got here at like nine. It's. I don't even know what time it is. After 12 now, I think. Hey, we got a smally, successful day, didn't die, caught a fish. I think I just got uh, hit by a big smallmouth in this creek. I came back upstream and the sun all of a sudden just started to come back out. It's been going in and out. Fish on, fish on, fish on. It is a little smally. I went up. I thought that first hit I had on the spinnerbait, I had the camera off, but I um, had a hit on the spinnerbait. Oh, and it looked like a big smallmouth. I went up just a little bit. I fished that hole really good. Went up to this hole. That's a pretty one. This water up here is cold. I wasn't sure if there'd be, what was in them? Well, this wasn't, oh, this water's cold. This wasn't exactly the river but a little creek that runs into it. Be a pretty one there. I have eaten and driven about two hours, so I'm thinking a little more sane now. Got got away from all that rain and everything, and. I stopped to make a couple casts. This is the river I was wanting to fish tomorrow. I don't know if I can or not. I don't know if the guide service is going to be working, but I stopped here and caught a little smallmouth. Well, this turned out to be a wreck of a video and a wreck of a fishing trip, but that's real stuff. The whole point of this trip I wanted to do, I wanted to show what really happens. And if it gets rained out or flooded my kayak without even getting a cast, and not even getting to fish the, the river I really wanted to fish, but I learned a lot. So that's that happened. That's that's so that's day one. Um, good news is I've talked to the people for day two. The river is a much easier flowing river. The water looks good. It's gonna be a lot calmer. They're gonna be there at nine o'clock in the morning. So I gotta go find somewhere to stay the night. And uh, I'm a, I'm excited about tomorrow. I think it's gonna be a nice and easy. Uh, I did already caught one fish right there off the uh, just off the bank. So I think that'll be more fun. So. Can't wait tomorrow. Thanks for watching this video. And day one, hopefully day two, is a lot more exciting and a lot more easier on me. Good morning. Day two of my five-day trip. Yesterday started out with a bang of a flip, and I didn't even kayak. So today, yesterday was supposed to be a kayak trip. I kayaked about uh, 100 yards, 200 yards, and that was it. Today, I or last night, I went and scouted out this river. It looked awesome. 
uh, went by and stopped and uh, had to stop at a local tackle shop. I went through the Cumberland Gap Tunnel and uh, went over to Kentucky, bought some a couple rod or rod to replace the one I lost, and I just had to you know visit the local tackle shop. I'm excited. It's a beautiful day. I get to the river today and let's go look at this. The water is brown. Man, yesterday looked so good. And I checked the water level and it's up two feet from what it was yesterday. So it is moving pretty quick out there. It's still kayakable. Like I could go out there and do it, but I mean, and I might catch a few fish, but I really wanted to show off the rivers of Tennessee and I hate to show it when it's brown. I gotta come, I'm definitely coming back to this river. This is the river I've been wanting to fish for a while. Never have been, never fished it. But when I looked at it yesterday, if I can get it at that level, I think it'd be an awesome trip, an awesome day. So we're not doing it today. Oh, I don't know what to do. My, my other river that I have playing next is three hours away. And that would put me there today, like almost like 1230 to one. So I don't know if I can get there and kayak it but the water level looks okay. I don't know if I have anything in between. So I gotta make a decision here pretty quick. Also, I gotta decide whether I'm coming back to this river or just gonna save it for another day. Man, throwing my plans all off, but we're still continuing. We're still gonna push on if we can. So it's currently about five o'clock. I, uh, the first river obviously didn't work out. I went ahead and I was like, I'm gonna drive to my next river that I had scheduled. I get there and it is flooded way more than I thought it was. I even looked at the gauge and everything looked fine, but it, it must've got rain from another area. I was like, well, if those two are flooded, surely I can go to my third one, which is another two hours away. It was three hours to the second one. Um, and then, then a couple more hours over there. So I've driven like four or five hours at this point. I get there and it's flooded, muddy. It's all, they're all muddy. And I'm like, what is going on? Um, should I go ahead and go to the last one? So I'm like, I called, cause this part, this place had a, a campsite and they said the water's fine. Like, come on, everything is great. Which that, that's what happened yesterday, but then overnight it rained, but it's not supposed to rain overnight. This is a river that have also, I've been. This is the this is the river I wanted to end it off with. It's the main one I wanted to get to, and of all the, of this trip, it's the main river I want to fish. So if I don't fish anything else, I want to fish this river. So I'm going to go to the campsite. We're going to camp there tonight. It's crazy that that whole half of Tennessee over there is like all the all water comes from all different directions, but everything's flooded. I get over here. This this I'm at a creek right now that I'm about to explore. I had marked on my maps, and it is so clear so low like it hadn't rained here in weeks so the river i'm gonna fish is about 30 minutes away i'm hoping it's looking the same way all right i gotta get some fishing in uh we're gonna just try to fish this little creek here i had the spot marked to come to it's not kayaking but i gotta get some fishing in Fish on, fish on, what we got. <laughs> there we go, look at this creek, this is a beautiful little creek. And we got a little creek, Smalley, right away. I mean, I feel like it's been weeks since I fished, but it was actually yesterday when I was flipping my kayak. We got the little creek that we just came down, feeding into this other creek that I was driving on the side of the road. And it's clear, we, and it's pretty good size. Oh yeah, we got some good fishing area right here. There should be, definitely should be some smallmouth, especially right there. We got a little current coming in on the, we got a little calm like back flow right here. It's uh, looks two to three feet deep right there. Let's get to it. Oh my, holy cow, there's like three, dude, there's several smallies down there. 
Oh my goodness. I haven't been to a creek like this in a while. One, two, oh my, and this is a beauty. Holy cow. I am glad I didn't fish those other places to get to fish a place like this. I love this. Come here, come here, come here. Oh my goodness, look at this smally. Dude, this is, holy cow, that's unreal. That is crazy. If I catch anything this big tomorrow out of the big river, I will be extremely heavy. That, that's, a, that's at least a 17. I'd say it's close to 17 inch small. And there's a bunch more of them down in there. And this little pocket of a little creek. Mm. Just threw a little swim bait in there. He thumped it and I knew it was a good one right away. Okay, 16, 17 incher. What a catch. Oh, there's, there's several more in there. Let's see what else we can get. There's several more smallies in there, I know. Oh, they're looking at it. I could see something looking at it. Eat it. We have to throw something a little different in there. I know there's a way more fish in there. I don't know if they're gonna hit. Oh, that one did. Here's another one. What is that? Oh, this is small. I thought it was something different for a second. Holy cow. He just stopped on the side of the road. I walked 50 yards from a little, down a little creek to this creek, the mouth of this creek. Oh, I got a little bit of fish on. I didn't know it. I was taking some stuff out of my pockets. A little smally. This water is pristine. Just to think, an hour away, it was so muddy. All I looked at some of the creeks around there, everything was just muddy, muddy, muddy. I get over here in this creek, and it's like I could have driven hours away. But it's this is less than an hour from that other river I just stuffed it. Oh, it's getting deep. Oh yeah. There's one. Good guy. It's got a little bit of wind. It actually feels pretty nice. The temperatures feel like it's dropping. Maybe it's just because I'm wet and standing in the water. But now the temperature's kind of dropped. What if there doesn't show any signs of uh, rain? So hopefully no rain comes at night. So when I kayak tomorrow, gonna be really nice i'm hoping that the water looks like this but it's gonna be a big river one that i've been wanting to fish for a long time <laughs> i got hit it hard uh, oh not a bad one now i want those big ones this is this is a good one but at first, that first big one is really nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, I <laughs> tricked him out of there. He's right where there's a little, little deep drop right there. A little, you can kind of see, you look at the water and Try to see where the current's going, see where it gets dark. There's a little debris right there, and there's a little compact behind it, but a lot of times the fish sit in that debris, or they'll, it looks like it drops into like a little hole, and they'll sit down in there. I haven't used these white ones yet. I don't know, I'm gonna try these white you know, yum hugger mites, and then I got some little crawls. I'm gonna make a few casts. <laughs> I saw something come over, look at it. What do we got here? Little largey. 
She's over here on the shallow grass side. It's a good sign. Large mouth. Oh, there we go. Oh yeah, that's a big one. That's a big one. Wow, 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 wow. He's not come up yet. He's a good one, good one, good one. That's a large mouth. A nice large mouth. Oh, look, look, look. Behind it, there's a, there's a smallie right there. There's a, one or two smallies. He didn't fight like, he felt a little different. He didn't just take off like a smallie did, but he felt really strong. So I was like, I thought it was a really, really big smallie. It just wasn't running. Come on in. That's a nice large mouth. Wow, that's a good creek largemouth right here. All right, this bin right here looks like textbook. Got a little flow, it's a little bit deep, constant. Got a bend going with some rocks and like a little bit of deeper stuff. Looks like where a big fish would live, like a really big fish. And I mean, obviously we've caught a couple, like the largemouth and the smallmouth I've caught are pretty good creek bass. But this, oh, oh, that might've been him. This right here is where a monster would live. I'd like to have a little top water actually. I, I grabbed like a couple different things. And um, I got, what I'm using is a 6.9 medium light Fenwick rod, eight pound fluorocarbon. It's kind of like a little, little bit of a lighter setup. I just kind of want to bring one like that. And I, and I actually didn't really expect to find a creek this big. I thought it was gonna be smaller stuff. If I knew it looked like this, I would've just brought my regular bass rod because the fish that are in here are nice, but this this will handle a lot of stuff too. But I brought um, the reel is a uh, 2,000 size Daiwa. Uh, I usually like using 10 pound line when I'm smallmouth fishing. I've just broke off on eight a few times, but this is fine as long as I don't have the reel the drag too tight. But we'll fish through here and probably start heading our way back up. But like this is a lot. There's a lot of water here. This would be fun off a kayak because you kind of ease through it. I'd love to be throwing a chopo right across all that. One more cast and we're going to change up colors. I don't know if it's the white or it's just those fish just ain't going to eat. I've seen a couple, I think. Oh, that took it. Oh, man. Your butt line started taking off. It's probably a small fish. I just saw my line take off. I never felt anything. Oh, come on, take it, take it. I got something on there. Got it. No way. Another good fish. Oh, it's a really good fish. Dude, this is a nice smallie. Holy, see, that's why you want your drag. Oh my goodness, this is a monster. That's why you want your drag loose. They take that, they take that really hard shake and they will break you off before you know it. Plus their mouth is um, real tough. Oh, see, dude, that's a, that's a hard head shake right there. This is a big smallie. This is where I wish I had my 10 pound line, but I think we'll be fine. Is there another one underneath it? Oh my goodness. Dude, I hope I get this guy in. I don't, I can't horse him. This is like a three pounder, I think. Dude, this is a big smallie. Just to think, I was really aggravated about not getting to fish a couple rivers. I don't think I'm catching a fish this size in those rivers. I mean, they're in there, but I would 100% rather catch it standing in the water doing this right here. 
in here with the fish. Yeah, yeah, go to the bank, that's fine. I really got, I just got to tie her down. I don't know if I'm a nick in my line anywhere. I just got to let him come to me and I'll horse it. Holy cow, that's a nice, such a nice smiley. Come on, buddy. Come on, dude. Got him. Holy cow. Dude. Oh, man, I am so excited. Look at this. Oh, this is a three pounder. I'd say 19 inches. That is a monster. Oh, he was hooked pretty good right there at the top. So he didn't have it swallowed because what they can do is right there, that is rough. If he has it down and he does a head shake and rubs that, he, could, he can break your line easy. Look at the belly on this thing. This, this is a amazing fish. Dude, look at that. Look at this fish. That is a giant. A giant smallie, no matter where you're catching it at. Look at that. I cannot believe we did this today. <laughs> oh my goodness, that was awesome. Man, that was... I, just to think, I was like just this far away of never stopping here and, and, and experiencing this. What a 49 minutes of fishing. Unreal. Man, I wish I had my scale. That was a that was an easy three pounder, and I'd say probably nineteen. Like, and that's not exaggerating. That was a really nice fish, and he was kind of fat. Oh, that was a giant. That's a giant, especially for a stream like this. All right, a few more casts, and um, there's so much more to fish here, but we're not gonna be able to do it today. Well, this creek. Uh, this deep hole is really long, and I bet you there's a couple more fish down through there. Maybe even in the middle. Like, there, I mean, a couple more willing to bite. There, there's a lot of fish that live in these kind of holes. There's a couple more willing to bite, but we don't have the time today. And I, I, I mean, I, I'm so excited after catching that big one. It's like, I cannot believe the, the change of events, how things did not go the way I wanted them to go at all, no matter how hard I tried to make them go the way I wanted them to go. And then I end up stopping here and just having a blast. Best, best creek fishing I've had in, um, I don't know, a long time. That meant that couple, a 16 incher at least, it's like a 16 or 17 incher and a 19 incher within an hour. So I'm gonna throw this lure, we're gonna go back upstream. I think we might pick up one or two more. Oh, fish on. Nice little one. Oh, good. He's a chunky little guy. No largemouth. This creek's got a lot of largemouth. That's interesting. A lot of these creeks over here, I don't usually find largemouth. That's a better largemouth. Is that better than the biggest one caught? Third largemouth, but good fish. Hold still. Not too bad. Oh, I did have a fish on. Oh, it was a nice one too. I thought I saw some more in there. Well, I know I saw some more in there. Oh, something's chasing around something else. I think I stirred up some minnows. Whoa, there's a uh, one, two, three, four, five, six smallmouth behind this smallmouth. I doubt you could see it. I can barely see it. Dude, it's a nice one too. Oh my, look at that, look at that. I'd be like thinking this is the, the biggest one in here. 
If I hadn't caught those other ones, this is a nice smolly. There were several other ones with it. Ow, got me. Bang. There's a couple creeks that I know that have big smallmouth. Um, but they're four hours from my house like this one is This is about four hours away Which is not a far drive, but when I factor in that this is what I do for a living and I need to make my money off of this video Sometimes it can be like well That's a lot of drive. I can't do that every day. I would I would not be able to uh, You know keep doing this so I have to make I can't do too many trips That's why I'm doing a big trip like this a big five-day trip I'm trying to do it all in once I've already had to get a couple motels. I went and bought a rod, didn't have to buy. You know, I bought a couple extra things I probably didn't have to buy, but I did. And um, hopefully I'm not gonna spend too much more money in, but we're not even, uh, we're not even to the third day yet. Oh, yeah. Oh, I saw something eat it. They're sitting down in there, munching anything that comes in. Man, these guys are pretty too. Look how beautiful these are. They get that color when the, I think it's from the rocks and stuff. They kind of just match the colors, like a yellowish. They don't usually have the bars in here. You'll catch some with like the, you know, bars, but those darker ones kind of, they just, they take on the environment they live in. Oh, I saw them. They're down there. This water's so clear. I'm, it's like, it's like four foot deep, three or four foot deep right there. And I can kind of just see them go back and forth every once in a while. And let's wrap this day up. What a day it was. Highs and lows and I don't know, all kinds of in between. I got my tent set up. It is actually cooled down and I think it's gonna be nice to sleep out here tonight. Um, the is flying around, but this is a tent I purchased recently and I, I think I've used it and I used it the other day. Um, and it's already, this is the second time using it. So it was, it was worth um, buying for $99, I think. Getting my money's worth out of it, but I'm, I'm staying right beside the river. And um, I took a look at it earlier today and I've, I've been hearing about this river. I, this is probably about five hours from my house. And I've been hearing about this river for a while and I don't know how I've never been to it. It is amazing, but you'll have to see that tomorrow. So I'm staying here at the, the Crazy Horse Campground, gonna float tomorrow. And um, they do shuttles at, and I think they do an eight mile and a 10 mile. And I will talk to them which one's better. Uh, I'm glad I waited till like school is that back in because there's hardly anybody here. I think if I was in the summer, it'd be packed. They do a lot of floats and stuff like that. But this wraps up day number two. I can't believe it's only number two. I feel like I've been at this for two weeks already. I can't wait to do day number three. I think I'm actually gonna do the kayaking, which was the whole point of this video. But the water's clear. It's got a nice flow. It's a good sized river. Um, supposed to be good small mouth. That's the only thing I know about it. I don't know anything else about it. But we're gonna, you know, target smallmouth. So, thanks for watching. Welcome, day three of my kayak across Tennessee trip. And I'm actually in a kayak and I'm excited that I shouldn't be flipping and we should be catching some fish. 
I'm at the Buffalo River, about to do eight miles. I just got dropped off and um, there's nobody out here. This is a popular area. I've been scouting this out for a while. People come here a lot in the summer and float and fish, but there's nobody here today. Uh, of course, it's a weekday, school's already back in. And um, they said the water is over, over here is great. I passed all that water yesterday. That was Everything was flooded to finally find some nice clean water. And uh, oh man, I'm just, I'm relaxed that I should have some good fishing. Um, it may be tough, I don't know. Also, we, I camped last night and it got down to like 63. It was kind of chilly. So I'm hoping that helps the fish get going. But I'm just excited to take this in. Brand new river, brand new water the kind of places I love to come. And um, hopefully this Tennessee River is gonna produce for us. Ah, this kind of current looks way better than what I, last river I was in. Oh, I'm snagged. Got a tree. Oh, one, three. oh there we go. We got a fish. A little smally. Trying to just figure out what they're going to hit on and just trying to learn this water. There's a lot of really cool rock ledges and um, there'll be like some deep holes so far. I've barely gone. I've been gone for like 15 minutes, 20 minutes maybe. Like these deep ledges and then these rocks and I see a lot. I've seen a lot of different fish swimming around. Oh, this one. I jerked too soon. Weird. We got a little one on the chopo. I can't find my pliers. I don't know what I did with them. So hopefully I don't need them today. Hopefully they're in my bag and I just didn't dig deep enough. But well, there's our second little smallmouth. These are nothing, you know, big. But I could I imagine there's some giants in here. And um We've only covered a little bit of water and I'm still trying to figure things out, but that one was on the top water. That was a good hit. So I may throw the top water. I had a, had a, I had a hit on a spinnerbait back there, but it was also wasn't a real big one. So I'm excited to just keep on going. That's a couple fish already. Hopefully we'll keep on doing it. cool rock bluff look at these trees um the guy that dropped me off said that there was a tornado that came through this area i think in the spring but you can see there's been a lot of trees down oh there's a little creek channel i need to fish that too Oh, it's a large mouth. Nice large mouth. Over here in the slack water. Got over here in a little slack water. Threw up uh, along the grass. Got a, a little nice little large mouth. Let's see how long it is. Maybe my biggest fish of the day. Ooh, about 13 and a half inches long. Oh, God. oh man, 
first cast ever on the bull shad. I've never caught a fish on the bull shad, and this is like the $50 one. And uh, I have now, but it's supposed to be a good river smally lure. I just haven't put it in my hand, I guess, long enough to try. Just a little guy, but I'm trying to change things up. Somewhere we're gonna pull out a big one. Oh yeah, oh yeah. There we go, that's a little better. That's, oh! I lost it, that's a good one. Right in the current where he should be. Man, that was like a 16, 17 incher. All right, we gotta get redemption on that. I was trying to like paddle over to the bank. Sailor, sailor. He's up. I think he's hooked good. I don't want to get it in the cock with me. There's, I think, another one underneath it. It's uh, pretty good for today, boys. Yeah, that's the kind of smallest we're looking for. 16 and a half incher. Hit that bull shad pretty good. All right, that's nice. I know there's a bunch more in here. I think a bigger lures are definitely gonna bring out those bigger fish today. I've tried finesse fishing and really wasn't doing much at all with that. Yes, sir, we'll take a few more of those. Well, that's what we wanted and I have a feeling there's several more right in this section. I'm not gonna slow down really. I got a lot of water to cover. This area out through here is awesome. We got these like chunk rock. Uh, like a deep bank. I could probably go back up through here and fish a few more, like come down in a couple times. But we we have eight miles to go and we still got quite a ways. Holy cow, where'd that one come from? Oh my goodness. He came out of nowhere. I don't think he's hooked that great. about the same size as that last one, but he just came up and exploded on it. Kind of wish I'd have bought another net when I was at the store and I bought this rod and reel to replace one I lost. I didn't think about it. Yeah, boy. Come here. Come here. Dude, they are loving these rocks. I'm kind of going downstream pretty quick and reeling it upstream and they're coming up and hitting it and i've had a, i've had a few hit and come off but when they commit to it dude, that's a not, that's a really good one there oh this thing is working pretty good oh dude that was a nice one came up and just hit it he went back down and they're coming up out from these areas. He came up and nipped at it. Ouch. Lunch time. And got a Mountain Dew. I think it's like 12.30, one o'clock, and it looks like I'm definitely over halfway. So and maybe maybe uh, like two thirds of the way, but I've definitely got a pattern going on. So um, I gotta decide, I don't wanna keep throwing that bull shad, which I probably will, it'd be hard to take that off. But I got a couple other lures that are similar. I might just see if they work too. Right now I'm gonna sit back and take it easy. Usually I'm gonna jump in, but it's not even that hot out. I don't. I really don't want to get wet 
Um, usually I'm already all sweating. The humidity dropped last night and it feels, it feels pretty good out. For August, it feels really nice. I watched him come up to it and I twitched it in front of his face. They, uh, he came from, I don't even know where he came from because it took him a while to catch up to it. All right, we're back, right back on him. Right there should be one. Oh, I missed him. He was there. Holy cow, how'd I miss that? I did shot out at it. I just jerked too soon. I saw the hit and just reacted and never had pressure on it. I feel like they're just getting more aggressive. Oh, yeah, there's one. Watch them come get it. Oh, get right where the tree is. See if he stays on there because I gotta get out of this tree. All right, 13 inches. We hit that thing pretty aggressively. Okay, well we got one. Oh, we got a little top water action. Oh my goodness, there's three big ones, two really big ones. I'm gonna see if they'll hit themselves. Dude, I doubled up, doubled up, doubled up. Doubled up on smallies. Check that out, it's amazing. Okay, I gotta get them in the net. Or, I don't have a net. I gotta get them in the kayak somehow without hurting myself. Oh my goodness! This is crazy! What a day, what a day! Blah, blah. Two smallies. And the there was two big ones. I caught the little one. I just let the... um. The big one kind of, I saw, I just let him go down, uh, at it, like hit it a couple times. And next thing you know, he's on there. Uh, I got to get him unhooked though. All right, I got the big one off. He's 17 incher. <laughs> oh, that was really cool. 
Now I gotta get that little one unhooked, so I'll throw him back in. And there's the one that started it off. He hit it. I just saw two following, let it go back down, and caught him. Thank you, little bud, for catching me a big one. <laughs> what a beautiful ledge this is right here. This is amazing. That was on this little uh, Rebel Jumpin' Minnow. I caught some fishing with, with it the other day. I used it in the creek, caught a couple. And I've been wanting to use it again. And um, I had, I was like, you know what? The way they're getting act, active, I'll throw it on there. And sure enough, we got one pretty quick. Let's see what else we get. Oh, yeah. Holy cow, that's a good one. Oh, no, no, no. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Oh. Right behind that big rock sticking up there. I was like, that's where an ambush spot is. Pull it through there, it comes up and nails it. Is this the biggest one of the day? He's got a sore on him. Heavy. Another right at 17 inches, maybe a little. Yeah, he's 17 with his mouth closed. And good quality fish. These are these are 17s are just great size. You know, you want that. Now I want that 20 incher, but I've caught a bunch of 16s and 17s. What a beautiful place. I think I'm gonna go ahead and retire the bull shad. Now that's actually a $50 lure. So for fifty dollars, you expect to catch fish, but I've known it's a river fish, and people have told me to use it and stuff, but I never did. But I finally did use it today, and yeah, it does pretty good. I'll be I'll be trying it out some more. I went down that whole ledge. I knew at some point I'm gonna get a hit and probably towards the back. That big one that I just had hit, he was, well, he was bigger than this, at least a probably 16 incher. He hit, came off. He was just right over there. Then I knew as I was getting to the back of the pool, like it picks up current and right before the end, that there's always gonna be something hungry there usually. Come on, come on. There he is. Nice. That's a nice one, nice and nice one. He's swarming around it like three times, like that last one that hit. Ah. Well, he came off. That's me not having a neck. I'm not throwing him in here all lively to with my bare feet in here where he can hook me with treble hooks. That's probably a 17 inch here also. Still need to get that, uh, if there was one thing to get, it'd be like a, um, you know, like an 18 or bigger. Holy cow, that's a big one. That was another big one. He just thumped it. I'm looking down, I think my takeout's right down there. 
Maybe it wasn't the color, it's just the way they're reacting to the uh, the top water plopper. They're just they're not they're not eating it, they're kinda like just smacking it. Oh, rock bass. Finally got my rock bass today. Well, I'm at the bridge. I'm taking out right there. I was wondering if there was rock bass in here. I kept expecting to catch them. And that was on a Helgramite, but it was a weird day. They didn't, I really couldn't get much with the Helgramite. I tried it. And it's, um, happens every once in a while, but not very often where I just can't really get them to bite it. But oh, now I'm getting bites. Maybe there's more rock bass right here. It's like a slow ledge, but dude, the way they were hitting um, the the, the uh, bull shad and is definitely like around the right area. Oh, nice rock bass. Well, we might stay here and try to pick these guys off. Oh, I see fish down in there. There's, like a, there's a couple ledges right here. I'll, I'm gonna fish these. We'll turn around and get out over there. I kind of fished the last little bit kind of lazy. I was just kind of moving and casting. And I had a couple, if I would have landed some of those ones I had on the uh, top water hits, I could have added a couple more really nice fish. But all in all, there's plenty of fish and several good ones. Rock bass. <laughs> I didn't catch a single one to here. Oh my God, here's the rock bass ledge. Man, this little lure is gonna get used more often. I shouldn't have put it away when I did. I kind of put it away early and um, I didn't catch as many fish, but I also kind of got a little lazy towards the end of the trip and just kind of was just casting. I had caught plenty. I was excited about the day. I was wanting to come back and fly my drone, but unfortunately, if you've been keeping up with my drone saga, uh, it's not been great um, because it may be ruined again. And I just got this one in and I think I've only used it once um, when I dumped my kayak, when the kayak flipped, I had it in, I thought it was a waterproof case. Turns out it's not waterproof. The drone got wet. I just tried to turn it on. I can't even get it to come on. So when I get home, I'll have to soak it in some rice and hopefully revive it. Maybe I, I don't know. I'm tired of messing with that drone. I really wanted to get some footage because it is beautiful looking out here. But anyhow, uh, there's the, uh, that's the bull shed. And I want to show you what I was throwing it on. This is a rod. I just bought this because to replace the one that I lost. Um, it's a Dobbins Maverick series, a 703C. It's a medium heavy. It's a little bit soft, but it's a medium heavy. And I picked up a Shimano SLX um, XT reel. The rod's about $99. The reel's like $129. And I had 14 pound mono on there. I tried setting the hook on a buzz bait, on a buzz bait, and I don't think I had enough backbone. But I felt like this was a great setup for the mag draft or for the bull shad with the treble hooks. Uh, I'm always changing up things, trying to trying to figure out what's the best thing to do. But I do like this setup. It's pretty light and easy to use. The reel feels great. Well, I'd say today turned out to be everything that I wanted it to be. It was a beautiful area, amazing location, lots of fish. Yeah, I lost some. I don't even know how many I showed. I lost quite a few, uh, partly because I didn't have my net and I couldn't scoop them up real quick. Uh, partly because they were hitting some top water and they were they were they they weren't really eating it they were kind of just hitting at it but great time for a brand new river um, this is is a fished area this so this gets a lot of traffic as far as like just people um, kayaking for fun from the rental companies and um, people you know kayaking it to fish as of right now I have no idea what I'm going to do for tomorrow this was supposed to be day five and instead it's day three. So I still wanted to do my five days of fishing, but I just, I, I'm afraid everything as I head back towards my house is flooded. Um, like it was, thankfully here, the weather, the, the water is great. So I'm going to do some looking around. It's like 4.30, 
I got some work to do, get online. I could stay two days here and I thought about it, but I don't want to do it now. I think I'll come back in the fall, uh, say maybe another month or two when the weather drops and stay a couple days and just like kayak back to back. You can, you know, there's several sections here. So I think I'll save that for later. We got to go find something tomorrow. I really want to try to kayak a new, a, a river, but um, I'm going to have to make some calls to some places and see what's going on. Anyways, thanks for watching. Awesome day. Day three, kayaking across Tennessee has been a blast. Brand new river that I'm definitely going to be back to. Man, they're in this current. Oh, there's one. That's a nice one. I could s Dude, whoa, whoa. Is there... Oh, there's two of them. That's what it was. Oh, man, that's a nice one. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There we go. Good morning. Day number four of our kayak across Tennessee trip. I came up here closer to Nashville, Tennessee, and we have the Harpeth River right here. Now the water is still a little muddy, but this is the cleanest thing I could find. I came here last night and checked it. And, um, and I also checked it on like the river app um, and checked the gauges. And it's dropped, uh, I think about six inches. And I, I looked at it, I took a video and I looked at it and now you can see Plus the clarity has gotten a lot better. So it, it does look a little muddy, but it's gotten a whole lot clearer. And we're just gonna have to make this work today. I got a service that's gonna drop me off. We're gonna do about five miles. Water's flowing pretty good. So it'll probably go by pretty fast. Now I know there's good smallmouth fishing in here and I've, I've been to this river one time before, but um, it was also kind of murky and that was in that spring. So I've been wanting to get back to it. I wish it was like really nice and clear, but uh, we're gonna have to take what we got. And this is what we're gonna be fishing today. Get to it. What would you catch out there? Bass? Uh, hopefully get some smallmouth. Yeah. This is my second time being out here. So. Hey, the water's up so well. Oh, help. Yeah, hopefully it helps and instead of hurts. Uh, we are out. They're putting in leather people. There's a lot of services that draw people off here. So that's why I waited till after school got back in. But um, the water's flowing pretty strong. So I'm going to look for some, any banks and eddies. But there is some, um, there looks like there's some shoals and stuff to target also. So, all right. I got a spinnerbait on and we'll start with that. So we spin everybody for a while, now I'm throwing this um, choppo. I don't know. I know we're gonna come across some fish at some point, I just don't know where or what. I'm gonna try to fish another lure here in a minute. I knew there was a creek down here and the water is looking clear. We might be able to go up in it because I, I don't I can't figure nothing out so far. We've probably gone I mean at least over a mile. Oh yeah this looks good. Let's fish this area. Oh yeah we're 100 percent working our way up this creek for a little bit anyways. Ooh. 
first catch of the day. Look at that little spotted bass. <laughs> Alright, we're definitely, um, like, I'll spend the rest of the day fishing this creek if we can work our way up it. Because it's clear. And I've heard, if this is the creek I'm thinking of, I've heard there's smallmouth. Obviously, if there's, if this runs into the river that we're fishing, I mean, there's smallmouth in here. So, um, let's just at least go up a few holes, see if we can. Fish number two. Actually, another spotted bass. <laughs> yeah, this is looking juicy up through there. It's another spotted bass. I thought that guy was way bigger. He hit and he just had some power. I'm not sure if I'm gonna take the kayak up there. Or I don't know what that next hole looks like, but we're definitely fishing this creek for a while. He was trying to eat that lure. I'm gonna throw my chest camera on and uh, we'll probably still drag the kayak up for a while. That next, I think is a large mouth. Nope, it's a spotted bass, got a tooth patch. I'm gonna put on the big Nico Helgramite. I think there's um, this creek looks awesome. There's definitely gonna be can be some big fish in here. Let's go ahead and give them a good big tasty meal. Oh, there's one. He's up in the current. This may not be the way I'd planned it, but we're finding some fish. Pretty small. -y. All right, I missed one in that current. There's probably a couple more in there somewhere. Perfect little drop off for them to be feeding. There he is, got him. Oh yeah, that fish ate it. He ate it, ate it. There's another little one over there. Nice, got my best one today. Good, probably 13 incher. Maybe 12. Dude, I saw that fish come eat it. I should have let him eat it. I looked back and I saw this fish come up to eat my bait. And yet I jerked too soon. There's another solid little smallie. Oh, that's what I love about these explorations. Every time I look up, you might see something that just looks so good. You're like, oh, just gets you excited. Like, I don't know if I'll catch a fish out of there or not, but man, it sure looks nice.
Holy cow. I got smoked in there. In that fast current. Look at that. There's another one behind it. Holy cow. I went, oh, that's a nice fish. I went through all this water. I just went through this big, long, deep stretch. I get to the shallow, fast water. Catch a fish. That's smallmouth fishing for you. He came out of there and just crushed it. Wow, look at the shape of him. I'd say that's a little different looking. It's a nice fish though. That's, that is actually a really strong fish too. Flipped up. I don't know where it was, like right around that brush. And he was must have been just hanging out in there. We're probably going to work our way up. There's like a little dam uh, bridge up there. I'm just going to walk for a little bit. Oh, I had another one. Something hit it. There he is. I had a hit in there. I did the exact same thing. I just let it drift. Threw it over there, kind of let it drift down that bank. This may have been the one that was following that guy. Another good fish. This is where the Helgramite's working. Fast current, trying to get spots. Like if you're trying to do top water, you wouldn't be able to throw your top water lure there. I could probably hit that spot with a spinner bait or something else, but the way I can just drift the Helgramite down the bank, that's that's the best approach for that I know of to get into some of these little areas like that. Like boom, right up in there. Just let it drift, see if anything grabs it. Man, they're in this current. Just casting, letting it drift. That's where they feed at. That's the thing, they're in the deep holes too, but they, they're in this current to eat when they're in here. Now, I don't think they stay here like 24 hours a day. There may be some fish that kind of tend to stay more in the current, but this is where they're in here to eat. That's why you see when the big slack water and you can't get a bite. Oh, there's one. That's a nice one. I could s Dude, whoa, whoa, is there? Oh, there's two of them. That's what it was. Oh man, that's a nice one. Look at that big one behind it. Dude, there, look, what is that? Is that even a smallmouth? That's a, the, the one behind it is a big smallmouth. This right here is the best one today. This is a really nice smallmouth. Oh man, that one behind it was bigger. That's a really nice smallmouth. Oh, yes, that's what I came for. Holy cow. That is a nice fish. It's a 15 and a half incher. Come here, come here, come here. That's what's about right there. That is fine stuff right there. Big, healthy, 15 and a half inch smally. We'll send him back on its way. Try to go get those other ones. While I'm at it, I want to give a big shout out to the Crescent Shoaly. Exploration is what I love, whether it's a small little creek, a river, going up a creek that's off of a river. This little, this little kayak just makes this kind of stuff uh, easier and more enjoyable. It's so easier to bring it up here. I didn't catch that fish from the kayak. I caught it by wading, but I was able to paddle through a couple uh, 
kind of long, slow sections to get to these little places. And then when I'm done, I'm gonna turn around and roll back. So um, yeah, a little shout out to the Crescent Shoulder. Okay, um, we caught three fish in about a 30 foot section. It's probably three, two and a half, three foot deep. Oh, oh, almost had four, that was a little guy. And that current is ripping and you'll never see these fish really. These fish are down in there blended in and it's like, it's, it's, it's crazy sometimes that you're even catching them there, but sometimes that's the kind of places you gotta find. You gotta find that current. And when you're fishing muddy water, it's kind of hard to find these places sometimes. That's why I don't like fishing muddy water. It's hard for me to know where's that fast little run that they're just sitting in there. Let's see what else we get. There was a bigger one and we got a couple more spots. Oh, I don't know if I was a fish or a rock. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh no, I lost him. I don't know if I got a hook in him. He pulled my Helgramite down. I don't know if I had him twice or not, but that's some thing about drifting. You'll bump on rocks. You gotta, sometimes it feels like a fish and sometimes a fish just sits with it. Now these are hitting a little bit better. They're kind of hitting it and like pulling like, oh, that one didn't and I messed up. I had another one and I missed him again. Okay, I just take back what I said. That one just grabbed it and stopped it. And I can't see it. Like it's it's not very deep, it's clear water, but you, these fish, you just can't see them. All right, there's at least a fish or two in there that I've missed. Let that thing bounce, so it just. Oh, 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 I had something hit right there. But it kept on drifting, he just grabbed it for a second. Couple more, and we're gonna move up. Just watching my line. Oh, whoa, whoa, I think I see one down there. Hold on, I think I see a fish. He's over here on this side. Get down in there, get down to it. Is that a fish or no? Might not have been one. Oh yeah, did you see that one hit? Dude, that's a nice one. That one pulled on it. Let's get him over here in the calmer water. Dude, that's a nice one. What if that was that one we saw? Dude, he might be bigger. Oh, come here, come here. Oh, well he's not bigger, but he is strong. It's at least a 15 incher. Holy cow, that's a nice fish. I, I guess I casted 15, 20 times, probably after I caught that last one. Had a couple bites. I knew there were there was something down there. Just kept drifting, kept drifting. Just cause I knew that there was fish in there. Ooh, yeah. Creek smallies. Ooh, it's cold. Ah, this is nice. All right, break time. Then I'm gonna eat a little bit. Start heading back downstream.
from our pristine clear creek back to the murky river water hopefully I can catch a couple fish out of the river I gotta find something I'm working this clear line right over here on this clear bank got me a little spot of bass a little spot. Must be a bunch of loose spots in here. Oh okay. gosh. I feel like if the water was clear, I'd be catching just like crazy. Hopefully, when I get to this muddy water up here, I'll still catch them. A little small jaw. Paid off. You know, I have one. A little spot. <laughs> Mostly little ones today. We get a few though. Another spot. <laughs> All right, I may have to just uh, use this lure. I feel like the water's getting clearer too, so that's a good, good sign. I think the fish might get a little more active. A little spot. Another spotted bass. How am I only catching these uh, spots out of the river? Look at the gut on that thing though. I wonder what he's got in his stomach. Had it unhooked, I hooked him again. Crawdad pinchers. Better one. Come here. All right. Just when I was thinking about switching, <laughs> I get a good one. We got a river smallie. Nice little guy. Pretty hit the chopo pretty aggressively. Um, I'm getting there's like a lot of slack water. Let me get this guy back in the water. Um. I'm like hitting this area where there's a lot of rock chunk and the water looks clear. I don't know whether it, it probably is. It's probably been clearing up because they said this is the lowest it's been in like um, two weeks, I think. So it's clearing up. But also when the sun gets out higher in the sky, it makes uh, it makes it look clear. In the morning, things look a little murkier. But um, we got a little something going. So we're gonna, we're gonna keep throwing this little lure for a while. Man, a big smallmouth came out. Hit right at my kayak. <laughs> Dude, they are coming alive. I've been I've been noticing that this week. All my most aggressive hits are all been middle of the day. 
12, 1, 2 o'clock. I don't know if that's, um, and that's a lot of times that happens a lot. I get a lot of, I fish a lot in that middle of that time of the day, and I get a lot of hits from river and creeks, but it's been pretty consistent. Oh, yeah. Dude, it is on. Another 11, 12 incher. <laughs> now we're getting smallies. Smallies, smallies, smallies. Ain't that big, but man, he hammered it. We're working our way up, though. That's a 12, 13 inch, or at least. Oh, that was a good hit. Pretty fish right there. How y'all doing? Yeah, Pretty good. Uh, I went up the creek up there and probably caught six or seven, and I didn't, I didn't catch anything until I got to the creek. But since the creek, I probably caught like eight on top water. They've gotten really aggressive. They're hitting pretty good right now. Oh, they're going. I just said I need to find rock. I ain't got a bite in probably 30 minutes because it was all looked like it was all just mud bank. I need rocks. That's where they're at. Spot. And I just got I just looked over here and saw these rocks. And I got one. So here we are, day four, it's coming to an end. Good time on the river, better time going up the creek. But um, that's, that's what I like about going out and exploring river fishing. Like sometimes the area, the situation doesn't look the best, but you go out and see what you can make out of it. And the second half of my, after I came out of that creek, they were nailing that top water. And then I, then I went like the last mile and didn't get another bite, which was kind of weird. So river number five, I called to check on one, there was there was a river that I really wanted to do that it's still flooded. It's They said it's coming down, but I, I, I don't think it'd be as fun if the water wasn't really nice. And uh, I stopped at Harpeth River Outfitters and uh, the tackle store there. And uh, I was talking to the guy and 
he brought, I was at him, I was like, what is another river? And he brought up a river and I was like, oh, I've heard of that river. But he told me that there was a, a kayak service on there. So I looked it up. They actually have a campsite. There's a couple of places. There's, so I, I'm at a, I already got my tent set up at a campsite. They're going to take me up the river. I'm going to float six miles tomorrow. And let me tell you, this river looks A+. plus. It's going to look amazing. Um, I'm hoping the fish is good. Of course, we're never going to know if the fish is going to be good until we go. But yeah, wait till tomorrow's video. So if you enjoyed these videos so far, I think tomorrow may be the best stream I go down. Fourth day kayaking across Tennessee is a good day. Got one left. Knock it out. It feels like it's been three weeks so far, but it's only been four days. One more to go. Thanks for watching. It's actually here, day number five. Kind of hard. Uh, it's kind of hard to believe that I've made it to this day, and that this I actually have been able to do this trip. It's something I've been wanting to do for, you know, a couple years. I've kind of had this idea, and it really wasn't that hard when I look back at it. It's just a matter of planning, setting it up, and just doing it. Just going to the places, having backup places if something doesn't work. Today I'm at a backup place was not planning on fishing this river but i'm so glad i am check out this view i'm sitting here eating my breakfast and just looking over this river can't wait to get out here and kayak it which i gotta wait about another 30 minutes before they start doing the shuttles um that's i mean i, I make youtube videos so I, that's what i do full time so I get to go travel and I'm trying to explore. I live over near Chattanooga. Okay. So I don't get to this side that often. Yeah. But yeah, we're over on the other, we're from the other side of uh, Murfreesboro. Oh, okay, yeah. But this is one of our favorite places to kayak because of the water and there's so many places to stop and swim. And but hopefully I'll catch a few of here. So I appreciate the help. Good luck, man. Thank you. What is that? Looks like a hybrid. Lugia. Fish are one. I don't think I could have asked for a uh, better place for day number five to end this off. I'm already ready to jump in. It's kind of hot today. Water is very clear, and the guy, as I was putting in, he um, they were loading up the kayaks that for the people that went ahead of me, you know, they got the kayaks out there. He said the fishing in here is tough. He said because it's so clear, it's really tough. And I was like, okay, challenge accepted. So we're gonna we're gonna have to catch some fish, and um, the there's deep, way deeper pools than I thought was gonna be in here. This is a this is a river. I thought it was gonna be skinny. This is a lot of water, some really nice deep holes, super clear gravel bottom, just gorgeous so we got i think you said five miles five or six miles to float and uh, i'll be going through a few different lures but we're also just going to move we're not going to take too long other than probably stopping to swim or something like that and i think there's other going to be other recreational kayakers coming in behind me but i'm probably the only person out here fishing today so that's really cool Oh, I just had a big smiley follow. Oh, 
I had a hit, I had a hit. I had a hit on the bull shad and I had a follower. Should I turn around or just keep going? At this moment, we're just gonna keep rolling. This is a huge deep hole right here. Oh! I came back up to where I saw those fish and I had one on for a second. It's a little harder to do this out of a kayak, trying to drift it. Then if I was standing, I could have just backed up. Oh, oh. We got a big one. We got a monster. Well, he's in the current. And he's big. Yep, 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 yep. We got a big one. Man, this guy's got power. Yeah, that current. Check him over here. What a way to start off. Dude, he's taking me downstream. I'm gonna find a striper here. Yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> he's not even that big. I thought he was so much bigger. Drifting the Nico Hugger mite, one of my I feel like something I'm good at for creeks and up in that current I lost one, threw back in there, caught one. Uh, he's almost 15 inches. There's our first fall here today. Pretty good start. Dude, check out this water. It's like eight foot deep and I'm looking at the bottom. Oh, I think I had one nibbling on it. Let's see. I felt something. He's looking at it. I got one looking at it. Holy cow oh he's a good one he's bigger than that last one dude another nice one. Oh my goodness oh these guys are so strong this one's definitely bigger i don't know how big he hammered that thing i don't even know how good he's hooked i can't tell He's shaking, he's doing everything he can to throw that hook out. I'm trying to keep pressure on him. And get him out of the current. Oh, he's hooked good, I think. Dude, it's a good fish, good fish. Dude, a really good fish. Yes, we got a super good fish. Check out this bad boy right here. Oh, man. That may be the biggest fish of the trip of a, out of a kayak. Let's see how long it is. 17 and a half inches right there. Oh, yeah. Man, how's that for a start? A 15 incher, then a 17 and a half. What a brute. That was, um, those things are so strong in here. There's just good current. I'm drifting that Helgramite. This is from the same stretch. So I think um, that's definitely gonna work because the way the current is and the way these little deep pools are just set up perfect for them to feed like that. I think they also might hit some other lures as it as the day continues. But dude, this, this, this place is unreal. I've already caught some really good fish and it's, you can't ask for a, this right here is like the perfect looking stream. Like I, I can't ask for a better one. The size of it, the depth of it, the clarity of the water, it's everything. It's just awesome. Oh yeah. <laughs> I made some fish, uh, fish through a little bit with the Hugermite through the bull shed. One came off the bank over there. Oh, he's fat too. Chubby little dude. Ooh, spinning me around. Oh, push on. 
Oh, I'm getting right into the, this is a perfect little pool. Oh, uh, right over top of them. Right here is where they're at. This is textbook. I gotta get out here. It's too good. Man, when you get one in there, you have no idea how strong it is. That current is really strong, pushing in. They thump it and they just turn their body against the current. I might have to throw a chest camera on if I keep stopping. I thought he rubbed me on the rocks. Man, a little 13 inch, super strong. This water looks so good. Such beautiful pools. Man, after the, that guy this morning, I thought fishing was gonna be so hard. But I mean, they're in the places where they normally are. And I'm really familiar, I feel like, with this type of river. Uh, I've, I've fished several like this and you can see where the stretches are, where there's current and where there's drops and stuff. And that's the kind of place I like to fish. You don't see the fish because they're, they're down in there camouflaged in that fast current. But that's where they're down there eating. small it I was avoiding the the guys on the um a couple people went by on a canoe and uh somehow I snagged him Oh, he came back for it. I thought I had one on, lost him, and he came back. Dude, the Helgermeyer is getting it done today. I've, um, I fished a river the other day and I couldn't get them to touch it. Now, they are really hitting it good. This is a Nico three inch mud bug. And I got it rigged up, whatever that way is, weedless. Just, I think that's a uh, Bass Pro 1 16th or 1 30th. 3.30 seconds now, something like that. Hook. Pretty sharp and thin, so it's pinning them pretty good when they're biting it. Just roomy on there. I've tried the Kusa egg. It's, uh, it's pretty much it's similar like that. Yeah. You gonna put this on your channel? Oh, uh, yeah. I guess the camera picks you up. We'll I'm be like, what's up? Yeah. <laughs> what's up from the piney? Yeah. I've had a pretty good day so far, yeah. Good. I got a 17 and a half incher. 
Really? Uh, that's a bigger than a uh, handful of like body cabin crew. So, y'all have a good rest of the trip. I don't see you again. Yeah. <laughs> This fifth day of doing this is really catching up to me. I think uh, mainly yesterday I didn't drink enough water and I've already drank a water and a whole Gatorade and that's usually a lot and um, I can feel it. So I'm trying to put a lot back in me. I'm gonna, this water was cold, it was nice. I'm just gonna sit here and relax for a little while. After this trip, I'm going home. So um, we've already caught some fish and if we could catch a handful more, that'd be awesome. This place has been really cool. I may jump back in. They said there was a cliff somewhere. I don't know if I'll do that or not, but right now I got a little bit of a headache just from uh, probably a little tired and lack of water. Let me rest a little bit. There's one. Oh, there's like three or four followers. Let's see if any other ones get hooked. Nope, they didn't want nothing to do with it. Oh, there. It's been a minute since I caught a fish. I just hadn't seen the fish and I uh, started throwing the mag drift or the bullshit again. I had a couple come out, but I hadn't still hadn't seen any big ones. And this is the first time I've seen them come out. There was three of them. There we go. Another about a 12 incher. There was a couple more with it. I went through a couple deep stretches over there that were just insane, just so beautiful. But I, like, I didn't get any bites out of there. I think I had a couple little bitty ones come out and like look, but. I knew if I could position myself right and drift the Helger mite. I'd get a bite. But now I'm in the current. There's probably one asking right now, why didn't you bring the anchor? And I have it in the truck and it right now would be the perfect time to use it. But also all these trips, I'm not trying to just stay out there like all day because I had a lot. I didn't want to just wear myself out. So I was kind of like, I'll flow through the flowing parts you know, fish them a little bit, but this river, the way this one sets up today is this, definitely one where an anchor or a drag chain or something would be really nice in this kind of stream, especially where the fish are. That was a giant 
That was crazy. That was a monster. Oh, that one was tough. That was a big body on that fish. Little guy. I think if I stop and fish all these deep pools, I'm catching fish, but that may be unrealistic. I may stop at a few of them, but I can't stop at all of them. Oh yeah, there's a takedown. He's still about 11, 12 inches long. But man, he hit that thing. This is pretty good. I had a couple follow, so I follow, and then I threw back in there a few times, but the Helgramite got one. These fish are, there's a lot of them in here. I've seen so many fish follow. Pretty, probably another 12, 13 incher. I've had lots of, um, looked like 15, 16 inches like follow the bull shad, and um, just haven't committed really. Maybe they're barely pecking at it. Dude, there's a lot of, there's a lot of really good fish in here. Well, it's almost over. Couple out, couple more hours and I'll be back at my house. And I'm uh, just stopping to get a little bit of gas, uh, heading back across Tennessee. Today's river was actually like the most impressive one that I have come to, probably maybe ever. But like, it's it's top, it's the top like uh, any kind of stream or river you're gonna be able to kayak. And um, I'm pretty sure I had a, a 19 or 21 a 19 or 20 inch smallmouth come off and i saw several big ones so that that's a that's a river i'll probably uh go back to for sure if i can but like in the fall i think when they when those fish get eaten a little bit better you know maybe within a few weeks or maybe another month or two uh, i would like to try it again actually everywhere everywhere i've been i want to try again i mean even the very first day uh the the nolichucky i flipped my kayak i have to i still want to fish that there's places where you can kayak on it without flipping hopefully and I still want to try it. So this whole trip's just left me wanting more and uh, wanting to do it more. But just show me, I went to three rivers and then a creek. So four places on the trip that I never uh, fished at before. Uh, actually five. So even the even the float trip that I went on the river, I went to a creek. So every every day was in a, I went to some part of a place where I never fished before. And um, it's always, it's really interesting, exciting to see what's out there. Today when I got down, I st still had a headache. I kind of took a like a one hour nap, then I've jumped in the truck and started heading back home. So I'll probably wrap this up, give it an overall of the whole trip um, after I'm editing them. And kind of when I get them all together, then I'll give a final recap of the whole trip and editing it and everything. So here we go, back to my office. I'm doubled up on the creek fishing gear because I have officially started my own merchandise company. That's right, me, well, my sister basically she's running it my sister's running it 
and um, I we have a couple of shirts, have a um, one or two hats right now, and we're the goal is to add uh, items to it. So yeah, the Creek Merchandise Store is now open and ready for business. So uh, we've been over about a week, about yeah, just a week, and this is probably the first time I've actually mentioned it on video. And I'm going to kind of mention it a little bit more, and I'm hoping to add uh, several more items. But anyhow, thanks so much for all the support on this series. And uh, I know this right now is actually like a low time for my views. A lot of time in the fall, things start dropping off. I think maybe a lot of you will be watching this in the spring. Anyhow, I appreciate everyone. And if you did enjoy this, please uh, like, maybe comment, and uh, throw in something that you would like to see me do another series on. And I really, really enjoyed doing this now i was very nervous and wasn't sure what was going to happen like i literally almost quit the first day after i flipped I, th I thought about just i'm like well we'll just do it another time the second day everything was muddy i really almost went home but i'm like i, d I don't want to stop and i am so glad i didn't the last the the first two days were horrible the last three days were like awesome fishing the buffalo river is one that i'm definitely going back to i didn't mention the the, the stream in this river but you might have heard it you might know where it's at but it's in it's in middle tennessee there's a lot of them out there like i have never been to that one before so i've gone to a lot of places in tennessee and there's still a bunch i've never been to people all the time tell me you need to go check this one out get in check, check, check this one out so if you are like thinking i got nowhere to fish and i want to fish in tennessee google it do a little bit of work there's lots of places out there these had guys these had um kayak services that dropped me off and that was one of the things. So if I can find them, all I had to do was look it up. These are places I've never been before. I just looked it up, found out they had a kayak service or a camping area and went fishing. So I would really like to do a kayak across Tennessee on lakes and just hit like five lakes in five days. Uh, I, I would need a different kayak for that. I'm not sure which one. I would like a bigger one. Um, I thought about uh, doing one on skinny creeks, like little secret creek places. I thought about doing one on, on greenways where I um, I just walk and fish the greenways. Maybe a panfish, you know, one or, or you know, more bass fishing. I do I do enjoy bass fishing, but I also love pan fishing. So sometimes it kind of goes back and forth. Maybe I do one. So I don't know. I've got a lot of ideas. I'm not sure how they're going to do. It's a new challenge for me. It's something different that I get to do on my channel. And it's a different challenge that I get to do. After doing, um, you know, six, seven years of this, I, I need... I need to kind of reamp and I need something that excites me and, and makes me want to, you know, try something different. So I appreciate everybody that watched and if you enjoyed it, um, thanks so much. Hopefully we got more uh, different series coming out. At least I'm going to do, I'm going to try to do the kayak across Tennessee every year. Maybe, uh, maybe more in the summer, maybe spring, but it's just hard to get it. You got to get, it's hard to get it when the, when the weather's right. But there were several rivers that I missed that I'm, maybe I'll just need to try to do it again and uh, we'll see what happens the next time. Hopefully no flipping the kayak. Thanks for watching.